Hi, Snail Movie here. Today I'll show you a collection of short films. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The sushi seemed to have a life of its own, as it clamped down on her lips and refused to release its grip. The woman writhed in agony trying to pry the sushi loose but to no avail. She felt a tug on her tongue. The sushi was pulling it out of her mouth, inch by inch, until it had stretched out 20 meters long. Suddenly, four more sushi appeared out of nowhere and flew towards her biting down on her mouth with a force that was beyond human, as if it had been imbued with a dark and malevolent energy. As the iron plate squid mutated, it slithered onto the table, disturbing the salmon sushi resting nearby. The sushi began to tremble violently, having been exposed to the contrasting temperatures of fire and ice. Suddenly, the smooth surface of the salmon sushi morphed into razor-sharp blades, but the man at the table remained oblivious, casually popping a sushi into his mouth. To his surprise, the man tasted a strange liquid oozing out of his mouth. His throat tightened as he struggled to breathe, realizing the sushi had turned malevolent. In a flash, the sushi transformed into living creatures, aggressively attacking the man with their razor-sharp edges. The man's struggle became weaker, until he was devoured whole, his fate sealed by the very sushi he had indulged in moments before. As the long-haired vagrant savored the sushi, he suddenly started to convulse, his body writhing in pain. He removed his long hair revealing that he had transformed into a carp monster. The monster opened its jaws and spat out all the rice, forming a giant sushi that glared menacingly at the owner. The woman narrowly dodged a missile fired by the sushi, but the giant roll was not done yet. With deadly precision, it shot out two gleaming silver chains that whipped towards her like snakes. But just as she thought it was over, a small sushi appeared out of nowhere and charged towards the giant sushi. The small sushi collided with the giant roll, causing a deafening clash that shook the room. Room. The chain snapped taut, trapping the carp monster, which struggled helplessly against its restraints. The woman took the opportunity to launch a flying kick, sending the carp monster flying across the room and crashing into a wall. In this plane, if you make a sound, you will die. This woman was on the phone but the flight attendant snatched it and chucked it in a kettle saving her life. The flight attendant kept telling the passengers not to make a sound or else the monster will snatch them up. However, the passengers do not believe it at all. This one dude mutters, how is that possible? Next thing you know, the monster's claws appeared and caught him up. The uninformed flight attendant prepared to repeat the instructions, but before he could finish, two people disappeared consecutively. All passengers held their breath and dared not make a sound. At this moment, the man wanted to fart. This dude tried to rip a fart, but it didn't go so well. A mischievous child felt uncomfortable on the plane and was about to cry, but the flight attendant appeared immediately, calming him down which saved his life. This guy took his shoes off and put his feet up on the seat. In front of this poor old lady, the stench was so bad, she had to cover her nose, but dare not say anything. Unexpectedly, this dude suddenly burped, and the monsters took him away. Human can stay silent, but what about pets? The man looked nervously at the parrot, standing on his shoulder, hoping it wouldn't make a sound. However, the next second, it screamed out loud, losing his beloved pet. The man was heartbroken, and was also captured by the monsters. The woman next to him, raised her bag to show her pet, which was just a non-speaking goldfish. Just when they were about to take off, the flight attendant, came to the aisle once again, to remind passengers that, this was a desperate journey, and not to make a sound. So, the question is, do do you know why the flight attendant can talk without getting caught by the monster? Man was born with no face. All his faces are hanging on a wall. Every morning, after getting up, man grabbed the rope, slowly walked over to the wall, and picked which face he want to wear for the day. Today, he chose a smiley face, thinking it would be a good day. When he went to the store to buy some water, the owner's face scowled at him and checked him out from head to toe. Walking down the street, people gave him cold stares, and some even purposely bumped into him. The smile on his face started to fade. When he was waiting for the bus, everyone cut in front of him in line, and even when he finally got on, people were still staring at him, like he was a freak. Only one girl gave him a smile, but before he could even enjoy it, some other passenger stopped her. But when he got there, the boss was giving him a mean look, and pointing to his watch, telling him he was late, and if it happened again, he'd be fired. One of his co-workers got frustrated with his pen, and just chucked it at his head, showing a defiance, but this guy held it together. He tried to draw a happy face, to cheer himself up, 
but it came out as a sad face. He got even more frustrated, ended up just erasing the whole thing. On his way home, he bumped into some guy by accident, but instead of saying sorry, he just stared him down, like he was ready to fight. Just like someone had done to him in the morning, the other guy's smile faded away also. When he got home, the guy's happy face was long gone, replaced with a sad one, that he hung up on the wall. The whole wall was covered in sad faces, except for one lonely happy face, hanging in the corner. It's tough. You know, every day, we try to put on a smile face, and be nice to everybody around us, even when we're getting treated unfairly, or something's bugging us, but eventually, it just wears you down. Maybe at first, the wall was covered with happy masks, but with the time goes by, they turns into the sad one by one. Man looked in the mirror, but all he could see was the back of his head. He was completely freaked out, wondering where his face had gone. He touched the back of his head, and saw the same image in the mirror. He thought it was a prank. Someone hid in the mirror and imitated him, but there was no one there. He even tried to touch the mirror with his finger, and it was indeed a real mirror. The man was confused, and took out a small mirror to check. Still, the back of head in the reflection. Just then, he noticed two shadows outside the door, about to come in. He was scared and tried to stop them, but they disappeared, before he could reach the door. When he looked back in the mirror, he felt a strong sense of fear. That gave him courage. He grabbed a cup, and smashed the mirror. But the shards hit his face, and he fell into the bathtub. When he finally came to, he saw an even stranger sight. The mirror had turned completely black and had these crazy ripples on it, like water. When he poked the glass, it sank down. Can you even believe that? Anyway, he tried to take the mirror down, but he yanked it so hard that his head went underwater. And when he opened his eyes, all he saw was this never-ending blackness. But, get this, he also saw someone drowning in the water, begging for help. This scared him. He figured that the drowning dude must know something about the weird mirror. So he put on a diving suit, tied himself to a rope, and dove in to save him. When he pulled him out of the water, he was totally freaked out because the person he rescued had a face looking exactly like him. However, instead of being grateful, the rescued man fought with him. He even tries to drown him in the water. The man fought back with a toilet brush. The rescued man was subdued by the scent. In the end, they both realized they couldn't beat each other. They calmed down. Man went rest in the room. The rescued man walked over and handed him a key. The man took the key to the bedroom and found a red dress on the bed. When he saw the dress, he couldn't help but hold it and cry out loud. The owner of the dress turned out to be his wife. She drowned many years ago, and the man had tried his best, but couldn't save her. Since then, he had been deeply self-blaming. He couldn't see his face in the mirror, because he couldn't face himself. The man didn't want to live anymore. The rescued man was actually the resentment, generated by his inner remorse. The man looked back, and found that the person was gone. He went to the mirror, and finally saw his own face. At this moment, the man finally let go of his self-blame. He stopped avoiding it, and bravely faced it, choosing to continue living.